way they teach it now that everybody's God has chosen people. But no, he has a specific, specific people, right? Right? Chiefly, everybody that you see on the sign, right? Now watch this, right? Uh, read from the top one more time. It's talking to his chosen people, right? Jeremiah 17 and 4. For thou even, Salakia, and thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, right? And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. So it says, God says, I'm going to discontinue you from the heritage that I gave you, right? Because you were supposed to be separate, right? You were supposed to be my chosen people. I'm going to discontinue you that, and I'm going to let you serve your enemies, right? Why though? Why is he mad? You know why? You, you think you know why he's mad? Not off top. Not off top. And I'm going I'm to I'm give you this right, and it's going to be a very simple answer, right? Watch this. Read Deuteronomy 28 and 15. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Right. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The word hearken, right? The root word means to hear, right? So it's saying if you don't hear the most high God, keep reading. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Right. That all these curses. All these blessings. All, all these, these curses, curses. All these all these curses. All these curses right? shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now if I were to ask you, right, is curses a good thing or a bad thing? And you see it now, you it. It's a bad thing, right? Remember, he said he's gonna take away our heritage, right? He was gonna make us to serve our enemies, right? Have you ever seen the, the movie Roots? I seen like bits and pieces. But you've heard of uh like the man uh Kunta Kinte, right? And so in Roots, right, the first thing they did to Kunta Kinte when they brought him over here, right, was they made him think, they made him change his name, right? His name had everything to do with attaching him back to his heritage, right? But now your name ain't Kunta Kinte, right? I'm gonna beat you until you say your name is Toby, right? And that's the same thing they've been doing to all of us, so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? Now I'm gonna show you why this book is for us and why we should get back into it, right? Now he Can said- I say something real quick? Yeah, go ahead real quick. And you had mentioned earlier when you came up that you didn't believe in the Bible because of certain things that happened in your life and certain experiences that you've had, and you don't deal with religion like that. But like the brother's saying, this is uh, this is a book of ancient texts. It's not a religion. Man made it into religion. Right. Man made it into those different things that gave you those traumatic experiences. Right. But if you read it plainly for the history and the knowledge of what it actually is, you will understand, oh, this is really something different. And that's right. what the brother's trying to show you. Right, so so with the historical text, right, the historical um, collection of records, right, we can understand who this book is for and who and who really owns this book, right? So in a grand scheme of things, this is what happened, right? <clears throat> we had this book to begin with. Was it written in English? No, no. right? Uh, it was written in forms of Hebrew, Aramaic, right? Oh, Sumerian. Sumerian, right? All these, all these different languages going back to um, ancient Paleo Hebrew, right? And so it was written in that language. This book, after we was conquered, was taken from us, right? And then they started manipulating how they taught it. But nothing is wrong with the text itself, right? There's a there's a phrase that goes, "Don't throw out the baby with the bathwater," right? This is the baby, right? And there was a lot of dirty bathwater that came with it when, when they brought Christianity, right? When they brought slavery, right? Once we flush that bathwater. We still gotta keep this book because there's some good stuff in here. Why? Because chiefly we're gonna understand that this book is ours, right? Now read Deuteronomy 28 and 15 again. I'm gonna show you emphatically how this book is ours and how, why we need to get back into it. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Right. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't hear the most high God, keep reading. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes. To all his commandments. Which I command thee this day. That all these curses, all these, what? all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right? And so read verse 46. Verse 46. Speaking of these curses. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. How long is forever? Today. Even till today, right? Uh -huh. And so this is, this is why we believe that this Bible is true. Because it's about to show you a prophecy that was written thousands of years ago that we can still see coming to pass to right now, right? So watch this. If I can say it too, that's where um that's what they say in the world today is a generational curse, right? Generational curses, and they always wonder wonder why you can't break the generational curse, right? Yep. Right. That's that's it's in the Bible. It's right. prophet. It's prophetic, right? So we got to get back to the basics, right? Now speaking of that, chosen people, watch this, right? 
This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. And they won't read this in the church. Watch this. <clears throat> For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Talking to who? Talking to the Israelites, right? That's his chosen people. All of them right here on this sign. The children of Israel, right? That's his chosen people, right? Not the white people that, that are claiming to be Israelites, right? We're talking about the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And we're going to prove it. But to the Israelites, read from the top. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Right. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Right. You know what the word holy means? Right. In the in the in the Christianity sense, but not in the actual um etymological sense, if that's if that's a word, right? The actual breakdown of the word means to be set apart, right? So uh so like the root word of holiday is holy, right? Every holiday is set apart because it's different than regular days, right? So he has a, a separate people that's holy, that's set apart from other people. But don't hear it out of my mouth. Watch this. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. No, we're equal to. Above, above all, all people that are upon, upon the face of the, of the earth. earth. No. Martin had a dream that all people would be equal. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Right, so this is where this is where we, we started at, right? Above all people, right? And now we're suffering from these curses, right? Now these curses said they were gonna be upon these people for a sign and a wonder forever, right? Now a sign is used to let you know, hey look, so if I see the golden arches, right? I know a McDonald's is coming, right? You know what I'm saying? That bus has a sign that says Mercer Bears, right? I'm led to believe it's owned by Mercer, right? You know what I'm saying? So this sign and uh, these curses are going to be a sign to let you know uh, these are God's chosen people, bittersweet. right? Bittersweet. It's bittersweet. Give me Proverbs 3 and 11, right? These curses are going to be good, right? And so when I read these curses to you, I want you to think in your mind, what group of people, what nation of people do these curses fit, right? And this, this, this is out the King James Bible that everybody has, right? But they don't read this in the church, right? Watch this, bring this out. This is the book of Proverbs chapter three and verse 11. Bring it out. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. Right, because this is correction. These curses is bittersweet, like the brother said. It's a bad thing, like you said, right? But it's bittersweet, because now we know that we're under, if we're under these curses, that means we're God's chosen people, right? Keep reading. Verse 12, for whom the Lord loveth, he corrected, even as a father, the son in whom he delighted. Right, it's correction, right? Um, a few years ago, Kanye West said um, slavery was a choice. And everybody got mad at him, right? You know what I'm saying? Now, from a carnal sense, from a worldly perspective, like, man, why you say that, man? We didn't put ourselves in slavery, but we really did. We put ourselves in slavery when we disobeyed our creator, right? You know what I'm saying? We had a choice, life or death. You know what I'm saying? And we chose death when we chose to go against him. Now, listen to some of these curses. Read verse 16. Verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. It says, Cursed shalt thou be in the city. When you go to any city, right? Who's living in the projects? Right? Exactly. You, you see a, a mass influx of Asian people living in the projects, of white people living in the projects. Arabic. Right? Even when you see the majority of those that are living in poverty, that's living on the streets, is who? Right, who's the majority of people that are locked up in these prisons that be in the middle of the cities? It'd be us, right? You go to um, the Atlanta Penitentiary, smack dab in the middle of Atlanta, right? Filled with blacks and browns, right? Yep. It says, curse shall thou be in the city, and what? And curse shall thou be in the field, right? And curse shall thou be in the field. We really don't even gotta dive too deep into that one. Who's cursing the field? Picking cotton, right? Uh, sugar cane fields, tobacco fields. Rice. Right, right, the Native Americans got their fields stolen. Right? You know what I'm saying? What other nation could this be talking about? Exactly. Puerto Rico, Belize, right? Right? And we got all these beautiful uh, shades of brown people right here, right? Let's read some more curses for you real quick. Give me verse uh, 54. Verse 54. Right? So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate. Now, how do you treat something that's very tender and delicate? You treat it with what? Gentle and with, with care, right? So once upon a time, we used to treat each other with care, 
right? And now you see a black man walking up the street, right? You look at him too long, he pulling up his pants. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. Amen, he getting amen. mad, right? Yeah, right? That's right. Better believe it, man. Right. Once upon a right. time, though, we used to, hey, we used to look out for each other. No, not now. Not now, though, right? No, it's just a different, every different time, man. It's a different time because we have been cursed as a people. It was a curse that now what? Keep reading. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother. His eye shall be evil toward his brother now, right? When you look at the news, right? You hear a, a slogan or a term, right? A proverb that says uh, uh, black on black crime, right? Right. Have you ever heard Arab on Arab crime? <laughs> Have you ever heard Asian on Asian right. crime? It's, it's a white right? dog. White on white. It. It's black on black crime. Why? Because we've been plagued. We've been cursed with that, right? Not only black on blacks, but you got the brown on browns too. When you get into the Spanish, right? And it all leads into gang culture, right? Killing each other over colors, right? You know what I'm saying? We've been cursed. Once upon a time, hey, even the gang culture was meant to uplift our communities. And now our eye has been turned evil towards each other. That's a curse that the Most High God has put on us, right? Who, 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 most high God, right? I'm the most high. Right, 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 right. You came in a little bit late, but no, we gonna we gonna hold you in. I've been right? Bible study three times a week. I got you. Church, you know, got you. Now watch this. Watch this. And toward the wife of his bosom, and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall lead. What nation of people is known for growing up and never knowing their daddies? Us. Right. What other nation? Hey, this. I didn't have to do this thing. Right. Hispanics, Mexicans, yeah. right? You know what I'm saying? They say, uh, there's a wise saying out there that says an elevator can raise a family, but a black man can't. I've that's terrible. Okay, wow. You heard of that one? I've never heard, you never good. heard that one? Hey, around, man. It's a good one, but it's a bad one, okay, right? I'm, you, I'm not going to use it. That's, that's more over. Right, man, but it, 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 ring, it rings home, right? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 37. Right. And thou shalt become an astonishment. An astonishment. Everywhere we go, people are going to look at us like, dang, bro. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 could be, it could be simply us walking down the street. You see men walking down the street and they sagging their pants. Right. Or you can see women walking down the street. Or women, right, walking down the street with no clothes on. Or they might or be at the red lights working on, on the, the headlights, headlights right? <laughs> it says that our people were going to become an astonishment to everybody, right? Every time they see us, it's the shaking of the head. Uh, why? Right? Yeah, the black right? Why? Yeah. Keep reading. And thou shalt become an astonishment. A proverb and a byword. A proverb and a byword, right? Among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. Right. A proverb is a wise saying, like we just said. Uh, a wise saying was, an elevator can raise a, a family, but a black man can't. A byword. Now we get getting the bywords. We go into the blacks and Hispanics, right? They call us niggas. Uh -huh. Spits. Beaners. Wetbacks. Right? Even a Mexican, I believe, means Martian that goes into being an alien. Alien, yeah. right? Saying that they were alienated from this land, even though this land really was there. Right? You know what I'm saying? We become all these things. These are all curses put upon us, right? Now I'm gonna give you I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the last curse, right? I'm gonna give you the last curse. Give me 68 real quick. This is how you know for a fact this is talking about us. And keep in mind this was written thousands of years ago, right? The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And keep in mind, they don't read this stuff to you in church. They, they don't. don't. I'm a, I got you. I'm they, a, we're going to get to you the other thing, right? You, Watch this. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now, this word Egypt in the Bible, right, is synonymous with something. First of all, that land called Egypt wasn't even called Egypt back then, right? It went through several names, right? But it was never called Egypt. What does this word Egypt in the Bible mean, right? It's the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2, right? I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of where? Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. The etymology of this word Egypt, it goes back and it means with the rocks, right? Which means within a rock and a hard place, right? When you're within a rock and a hard place, you're in bondage, right? You're, you're in a straight, you're in a stiff, you can't move, right? So watch this, go back to the top. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again into, with ships. Into bondage again with what? With ships. How do we get to America? We're well, on slaves. Right. Slave. On what? On, on a ship. On, on a boat. ships. Boat. Right. Ships. Not yeah. only us, even the Hispanics. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They started going on slavery on ships before us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Starting with Brazil or Puerto, or Puerto Rico. Brazil. Brazil. Brazil, yeah. Brazil yeah. Right. Right. I'm, I'm 1442. Yeah. Right. 1442. 14. It says that we would go to bondage again on ships. Keep reading. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. 
Right. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. You should be what? Sold unto your enemies. Sold unto your enemies, right? Keep reading. For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. And slave women. Who was on them auction blocks? Who was on them auction uh, blocks? Block. Us. Right, right. Keep reading. Us. Keep reading. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall buy you. And some people be like, see, that can't be talking about y'all because y'all was definitely bought. This word buy in the Hebrew, because that's what this originally was written in, means to redeem, right? Means that nobody will redeem you out your circumstance, right? We only have one redeemer, right? Who the world innately calls Jesus Christ, right? And so, and so look, many people have tried to redeem us. We have Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Harriet Tubman, right? We still in the predicament today going through these same curses that are that we just named, right? And keep in mind, this, this chapter has about uh, 42 curses in here, wow. and we fit all of them. I just put out my favorite ones, right? Okay. And we're still going through these curses today that was written thousands of years ago, right? Nice. No wow. one can save us or redeem us out of this circumstance right. un until the, the man who they call Jesus Christ comes back, right, and to redeem his people, to save us out of the captivity that we are in today, right? Because a lot of people don't know, as black men and Hispanic men, we're still in captivity till this day, right? right? For example, we can't leave this land without a what? A passport. A passport. Who we gotta go to to get the passport? Uh, the white man. Our oppressor. Matter of fact, give me that. Give me that curse uh, and yeah, want to yeah. all things. I got that. You got. You got free stuff. Gotcha, gotcha. Nah, nah, I ain't got no Give me, uh, so one, one more precept, 10 and 12. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse number 12. Right. And now Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Now that you know, hey, look, this Bible is for us. Not only that, we're not blacks. We're not Hispanic. I mean, not Hispanics. We're not African Americans, right? We're the Israelites according to the Bible, right? Our, from the 12 tribes. Our heritage has been stripped from us, and now we got to come back, right? So now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? But to, but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, right. to keep the commandments of the Lord, to, do what? to, to keep, keep the, the commandments, commandments of, of the Lord, Lord right. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, for thy good. For thy bad. For, for thy, thy good. good. Nah, the, the law is done away with. For, for thy, thy good. good. For thy good, right? That's the only thing that we can do to get us out this circumstance, right? So now that we know that we're Israelites, something is already required of us, we got to keep these law statutes and commandments, right? Uh, just, I know you got, I know you pressed on time, but some of the commandments that we got to keep, man, right? We got to keep, keep the Sabbath day holy, right? The Sabbath day is on Saturday. I'm it's not on Sunday. I, I tell people that, right? man. Right? I already know that. You know, in Christianity, tell they'll tell you, hey, we got to worship on Sunday, right. right? And that goes back to Saturday, Saturday uh, uh, worshiping Saturday. the sun god and, and all of that thing, right? But the actual Sabbath day is on Saturday, right? right. The book of Deut uh, Exodus 20 and 8, okay, it lets like us know, now. it lets us know, hey, six days shall you work, and the seventh shall be the day of rest, right? The first day of the week is what? Sun god. It's Sunday, right? But they, Go ahead. No, so like, I'm not bad. I was going to say, even if you're in the Hispanic language, in the Hispanic language Saturday is, is pronounced Sabado, right? Sabado, right? Sabado. So even in their, even in their heritage, they understand that Saturday is the Sabbath day. We got to start keeping it holy. How do we keep it holy, right? Through the precepts, we know that we can't, we can't buy, we can't sell, right? We're really, we're not supposed to cook, right? It's a day of rest. You know what I'm saying? Right. As black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as much as we be working day in, day out in this in this, in this land of captivity, we definitely need a day of rest, right? That's right. And that's where some of our people suffer the most because we don't have no rest, right? right? That's why people commit suicides, homicides, smoking cigarettes, bro. We get we need some type of relief, right? That's our holy day. That's right. our holiday, right? right? That's the day that we keep separate from the rest of the days of the week. Exactly, and we have one every week man so that's one of the commandments we got to keep another commandment we got to keep man we got to eat right you know what i'm saying got to put that pork down right we got to put that shellfish down you know what i'm saying what you, what you just eat what you just order gotcha gotcha man that's good you know what i'm saying that's good but our, our, our people we take all these uh uh these abominations and we make them delicacies right when the most high god said don't do that and that's why our people are is leading the leading the causes in uh uh gout high blood pressure diabetes right why because our people was commanded not to eat that and so that we're we're doing it we're gonna get held accountable for that right so i got one more one more precept for you right uh what's that uh is that joe 227 what's going on bro? what's going on bro?
What's going on, bro? Oh, yeah, I remember, I remember you. your face, though. Hey, sure. running. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all yeah. doing all right, Nick? Yes, sir. Yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good to see you. This is Book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. What's going on? Hold on. Please. Hold on. Therefore, I will punish you. No, that's Amos 3. Give me Amos 3, too. This is the last one. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse number 2. Read. Wait, hold up. There's the other, other, other writing it down, right? Amos 3, chapter 3 and verse number 2. Yeah, I missed the other one, man. You got it. <laughs> uh, uh, right, all right, all right. 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 right, watch this. Verse starting at verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Right, stop right there real quick. Remember, right, we were just talking about how um, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans were leading in those in those diseases of uh, gout and all that stuff, right? Diabetes, high blood pressure, right? Read that. We're going to show you. Watch. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. He says, you have I known of all the families of the earth. Now, therefore, I'm going to punish you for what you do, right? We all have kids, right? Y'all might not have kids. Y'all got kids or anything? You got kids? If you tell your kid, hey, look. If you tell your kid, hey, look, don't do that. And they come back and they say, hey, well, Johnny did it. So that's why I did it. What you going to tell them? Johnny, not my kid. Yo. Johnny, not my kid. You my kid, so I'm going to punish you. Same thing the most high God is saying, right? Most like God saying the same thing. So most like God saying, hey, look, I gave you guys, the Israelites, these laws, statutes, and commandments, right? And so that's what you guys are supposed to be doing. If you don't do it, I'm going to punish you. I'm not going to punish everybody else. That's why everybody else can eat all these abominations and be fine, right? They, they can eat all these things and be fine. But as soon as we do it, now we're getting sick and we're dying off, right? That's why we got to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. We got to come back to this Bible. So when I first asked you, did you believe the Bible? You were like, eh, not really, right? I understand that you probably don't like the lies that came with it, but there's truth in this Bible, and everything in here is good for our people, the so-called Black Hispanics and Native Americans, to get from this bottom of state and get back where we used to be, right? And so, I got you, man. I'm going to let you go. That's all right, baby. Madness. God bless you both. But the, the brother gave you some literature, man. Check it out. We're going to be out here every Saturday. Lord willing, man. Um, if you ever have any questions or anything like that, come back and see us, man. You know what I'm saying? What's your name, so, brother? Warren. That card got um, on our YouTube, our Instagram, and our email on there. Too. Okay, okay, because I know I um like I I go through and read stuff like that. I know it's like over <laughs> spots and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Guys that I can see that oh yeah. And stuff, so I. I'd be on it. Like, sure, man. Knowledge and stuff like that. Like, lost books and stuff. Oh, yeah. Sure. For sure, man. We got to pick up this Bible again, man. It's ours. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Have a good day. You too.